Bike factory runs two assembly lines, A and B. 97% of line A's bikes pass inspection, while 91% of bike line B's bikes pass. 60% of the factory's bikes come off line B, and 40% come off line A. Find the probability that one of the factory's bikes did not pass inspection and came off of line B. Now this is an absolutely perfect problem um, for using a tree diagram. I wouldn't even dream of doing it any other way. There are two lines, assembly line A and assembly line B in this factory. Now once a, a bike is assigned to assembly line A, it's either going to pass inspection, I'll use P, or it's going to not pass inspection, I'll use NP. Same is true of B. If something a bike comes out of assembly line B, it's going to end up passing or not passing. And that's an easy way to see what's going on. And I can use the tree diagram to actually label my probabilities and get my answer. I know that 97% of line A's bikes pass inspection. So if I go to the line A branch where they pass, I can label that 0.97. That means, of course, that the other 3% do not pass. I also know that 91% of line B's bikes pass. So if I go to line B, I get 0.91 in the pass column, which means I get 0 0.09. The other 9% don't pass. I also know that 40% of the bikes come off of line A. So the probability of a bike being assigned to line A is, uh, oops, excuse me, is 40%, 0.4, which means that there's a 60% chance, 0.6 or 0 0.60 if you like, it doesn't matter. chance of a, of a bike being assigned to line B. So 40% chance of being assigned to A, 60% chance of being assigned to B. I want to know the probability that one of the bikes, uh, one of the factory's bikes did not pass inspection and it came off of line B. So that would be this branch. And we've been working these problems and you remember that using this tree diagram approach when you when you are looking for an AND, you multiply down the branches. So the AND is an illustration, really, of the product rule, probabilities. You multiply along a branch to do an AND. So I want to know the probability that a bike did not pass inspection. I'll write it this way. The probability that a bike did not pass inspection and it came off of assembly line B. That would be 0.6 times 0.09 or 0.60 times 0.09. And if I do that product on a calculator, I will come up with 0.054. So there's almost a 5.5% chance that that would happen. The probability of a bike not passing inspection and coming off of line, assembly line D. Now I want to ask actually a couple of other questions. Now that I've got this chart up here, it's sort of a shame not to uh, use it to ask a couple more questions. So let's look at a couple more things. I want to first ask this question. What is the probability that a bike did not pass inspection given that it came off of line A? Well, as soon as you see the given part, you know that's a conditional probability problem. So what I'm asking is, what is the probability that the bike did not pass inspection given that it came off of line A? Now, we've also talked about this, that a conditional probability on a tree diagram um, are, the in, are the interior branches, or I should say it this way, the interior branches of a tree diagram represent conditional probabilities, and whatever's to the left of it is what has already happened. In other words, that's a condition. So if I'm looking for the for the probability that the, a bike did not pass inspection given that it went down assembly line A, that means I've already gone down this branch and I'm sitting here. I already know that I've gone down a 
branch A. So I don't have to consider that anymore. That's already happened. Given that's happened, the probability that the, the bike does not pass inspection is 0 0.03. So the point I'm trying to make here, and the reason I wanted to work these additional, ask these additional questions, is that I want to illustrate again that these interior branches are conditional probabilities, and the condition is whatever's already happened, which is everything to the left. So if I'm trying to find the probability that something didn't pass, I know it came down A. The A is the, the, the fact that it went down A is the condition. Let's do one more. The second question is, what is the probability that the bike passed inspection given that it came off of line B? Okay, this time I'm looking for the probability that it did pass. And since I'm using P's for two different things, I think I'll actually write out the word pass. The probability that it passes given that it came off the assembly line B. Now again, the condition uh, is what's already happened. I want to see the probability it passed given that it's that I already know that I'm down branch B. So that the B is the condition, the branch B is the condition. I've already gone down branch B. Now what's the probability that it passes? And that's going to be here, 0.91. Again, whenever you're using tree diagrams to uh, look at conditional probabilities, it's always going to be uh, on one of these interior branches.